Greetings and salutations, tubers of you, viewers of me. I am Sippy Cup, and today we are playing White Knight. Now, I know at the end of the Outlast video, I asked for feedback on what I should play next. As of today, when I'm recording this, the current votes are one for Flower, <laughs> one for Whistleblower, and one for Dying Light. So, it's a three-way tie. You guys go ahead and hit up that comment section. Let me know what you want. Uh, I will be doing um, some other games while I'm waiting for your feedback. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and watch uh, Sippy's First Drink. The, that's my demo walkthroughs that I've done. Uh, but in the meantime, as for a full actual Let's Play, I am going to play White Knight. Now, a little disclaimer to this. I am somewhat familiar with White Knight. Uh, an individual by the name of Jim Sterling, he's another YouTuber, did a Let's Play of this when it first came out on Steam, and it has since released on the PlayStation. Uh, it was really interesting to me. I liked the concept. I liked... It, it's it's another survival horror set in the 1930s, and I really liked the art style and the style of gameplay, um, and I really wanted to go ahead and play it myself. So the fact that I saw it on the PlayStation Network, I jumped on the opportunity. Um, so let's get right into it, yeah? New game. I am not going to skip the uh, cutscenes here. Some nights are just pitch black, without stars, and without sleep. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. So I'm taking it that we are going to be reliving the main character's memory. It's fine. Got some uh, cell shading going on, and it's only black and white. I still don't have control over him. A black moon, that's different. I took one hit off of that and threw it away. Of course, this is also a time when cigarettes were probably like a quarter a pack. Don't smoke. Smoking is bad. Chapter 1, Out of Course. Okay, I do have control now. Re head of production. Oh, this is an interesting way to do the credits. And you can speed it up or slow it down by uh, leaning on the... Can I? Can I? I can't go to Boston. Okay. You can speed it up or slow down the entry credits by leaning on the controls. It's a pretty song. Really sad, though. Engine and game production. This means that they built their own engine for this. Um, Activision is the final uh, company that they pushed this game out under. But if they if they did not only their own uh, 
development of the game, but they're also the creation of their own engine. That's rather impressive. We're crossing Mystic River, and I am on... I am on every side of the road. Oh, that's a person. White Knight. Once again, that's the title of the game. Thank you for the reminder, game. The shock was still echoing in my bones, as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain. The terrible pain on my side. And this question. Where am I? Okay, and here is my immediate response to that. He was leaving a bar. He was driving to wherever. Maybe it was home, maybe it was the hotel that he was staying at, maybe it was the next town. But he had a general idea of where the hell he was going, so he should be at least familiar with the fact that he is somewhere between the bar and where his final destination was. Also, that credit sequence and the general average speed of cars at that time, he can't have gotten much, very far. Maybe I'm overanalyzing it. Despite the pain, using left stick to walk was still possible. Oh, that's an interesting style of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tutorial. I could examine the place using a cross button. The car was on the brink of death. Okay. What about that? This girl on the road, the impact, I couldn't find her body. I see a, what looks like a trash bag over here. Nope, maybe not. Pardon me if I do a little bit of exploring in this early stage. Uh, I've had my fair share of uh, point-and-click style adventures, and I know that sometimes they like to hide things from you. And unless you walk right up on it, you don't know that you can look into it, so I'm going to give this a shot. The box seemed to be connected to the electrical lighting of the street. Okay. And I know from the... Ooh, okay, we, that was a huge zone. No body, no blood. Where did the girl disappear? I earned a trophy. And a newspaper, apparently. And I can't see myself for shit. Oh, okay, there I am. Kind of a downside to the, the black and white styling of the game is that it's really damn hard to see with everything pulled out. For help, I could rely on the Boston Daily News, which I could check with Triangle Button. Who was that girl who crossed the road? I couldn't avoid her, but I never found her body. I couldn't get her get her dis desperate stare out of my mind, but I was wounded and I needed help. Ten cents for a newspaper. Am I going to walk into this super creepy oddly lit up gateway or try to walk past it? Well, to start with, I'm going to try and walk past it, but I'm going to walk right into an invisible wall. Bad game developers. At least give the invisible wall a reason for existence. Can I check this? I can. Vesper Manor. Didn't ring a bell. My head was empty and painful. I could read the name Vesper on the mailbox. That name, no. Ever since the commotion, my memory still seemed like gone. My memory seemed like gone. Excuse me. I read what I wanted to read, not what was actually written. Shame on me. Okay. Let me 
check this pile of bricks on the other side before I actually hit up the gate. Nope, nothing there. I don't, I don't know what's with the uh, running squares on the bars there, but... Yeah, for a guy who's injured, he, he seems to still have some decent amount of strength. I was trying to collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? Mm, I'd say it's distinctly possible. All right, so I can go straight into the manor, or I can avoid it altogether, maybe check out that graveyard to the one side. There's a tree stump over here, I'm going to check that out, limp and all. W and S, I would have considered that romantic under other circumstances. Stop limping so that maybe we can actually make some progress a little bit quicker. What is that on the tree? Is that an onk? I was so gonna check that out. Yeah, it's totally an onk. This unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. It's not unknown, it's a freaking onk. Sorry if it's taking forever to go from place to place. That's the darkness of the well spat a salty smell to my face. Okay. Is the bucket something different? Whoopsie! It was quite a drop. The bucket fell down a dozen meters, at least no way to recover it. Thinking this was a premonition was possibly probably just superstition. But I felt definitely uneasy. Don't know if this is one of the ones that uh, your individual's decisions over the course of the game affect the gameplay. Um, for sale, this board looked as old as the house. Okay. It would be kind of interesting if pushing that bucket over, the arm came from a marble structure. Can I pick up the arm? Nope. I can't touch it. It would be kind of interesting if they did, you know, the fact that I pushed over a bucket now changes the game entirely for me. Hey, can I sit down? Oh, now I can hardly see what I'm doing. Margaret Vesper, born Venter Cross. Uh, on the grave, the name Margaret Vesper seemed to challenge eternity itself. Who was she? The grave looked as daunting as a forgotten tomb. Huh. It is. What a dire way of decorating a garden. A bird table, nothing more. Also known as a bird bath. You can I look at you? Nope, can't look at that one. I'm gonna try to look at each of these graves. Just to see if there's anything. Me Norman, this name coming from nowhere nowhere, not Norway, was chilling. Don't know why I'm having such difficulty with words today. Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. The bucket had not been used for a long time.
the animation of his movements is very convincing, even with the very limited uh, style here. And with when all you're doing is playing with bl shades of black and white, not even shades, just the amount of black and white in a specific area. The statue was staring at me with a with a white and hostile stare. How can you? Okay. Uh, I couldn't help but think about that statue's broken arm. Someone had obviously moved it recently, but I couldn't help thinking it was some kind of desecration. Okay, apparently I missed. The statue had been moved recently. So I'm being Mr. Detective Man. Is there anything else to see around here? William Vesper, no date on the grave. So far as I can tell, none of the graves have had dates. And there's, as of yet, no sprint that I can see. Probably has something to do with the uh, immense amount of pain that my dude is probably in from drunkenly swerving off the road. Out of curiosity, so it went uh, garden, statue. So there are at least two more articles that I'm missing out here. That I apparently should have somehow gotten. Did I already try and read you? Oh, from the other side. Metallic shard in the dark caught my attention. Okay. Okay. What about said metallic shard? Shard in the dark. Going back to the front entrance. Yep, already looked at that. Oh, so I'm not going to 100% at the first go round. I can't find whatever those two other articles are. Oh. Old and damp planks which had fallen from the front of the mansion. Couldn't see a thing. The window was watching over a tomb. There was still some golden liquid inside the glass. Oh! Hey, here we go. The glass was still moist and the chair was overlooking the garden. Someone was there very recently. If that person were to come back, my wound would be the only acceptable reason for breaking it. Okay. No use that land had seen better days. Whoa, hey, there's a thing. To William Vesper, under normal circumstances, I would have never tried to contact you. I am an honest man. I have supported my husband since the blessed, or honest woman, excuse me. I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today I cannot afford to raise them properly anymore. We are ruined. My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is traveling from town to town trying to find a job, while I have to beg for food every single day. My four-year-old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse, and I fear for his life. Nowadays, we can see children die in the streets is there is this still america i beg of you who are rich only a few dollars would be enough we would we could work for you we live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by the graham slaughterhouses don't hesitate to come martha kenton okay can i examine these here bottles someone was here recently yeah i've, I've already determined that Thing over on this side? Nope. Okay. There's probably going to be chunks of this that I cut out for the sake of uh, not boring y'all to hell. 
Push open the door. Nope. Still nope. Landlord was out, so the key might be around somewhere. I bet you I know where. No one around. I was all alone, with my pain growing and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Okay. And apparently the thing that I missed in the uh, Boston was an advertisement for beer. Which, you know, me and my uh, raising my glass to you, I'm good with an advertisement for beer in a game. So long as you are of the proper age. Oh. Really? Re okay. So that actually is a little clever. Um, I, I probably skipped a good chunk of my wa aiming, wondrously, uh, wandering aimlessly. Pick up the key. Um, I but, had a feeling I was about to desecrate oh. a sanctuary. To open the door to a world I didn't belong to. But whoever lived in there, they would understand. I needed help. Anyone would understand that. And everything's in black and white, so you can't tell if your ears are bleeding. No, so I I immediately assumed that the shiny or metallic shininess that I saw on the gravestone earlier was the key, and I went straight there, wasn't there, started wandering around aimlessly, trying to figure out what the hell this key could be hiding behind or underneath or whatever. I happen to go up to the uh, the statue over there. And as you guys saw, I, I got an icon for putting my hands against it to push it off to the side. Um, because I was right, the key was on that gravestone, on that cross. But it didn't exist because it wasn't visible since the area that it was was covered in black. And now I can't seem to move. Um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get inside this house and then probably end the episode here. Use the key. Why did you even bother putting it in your pocket? Nice vest, dude. somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. Indeed. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell, like a cornered animal. A smell of fear. Also known as the smell of pee. And yet, I entered the place. Because I had no choice. Well, I mean, you could go back to your broken down car and hobble to find a phone back to the bar. Smell. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. End of chapter one. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here. Uh, hopefully I cut enough of the, the aimless wandering out that this one stays fairly short. I realize that my previous videos were all 20 plus minutes. I'm, I'm wanting to kind of shrink that down so it's easier for consumption for you guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue playing this one and uh, post it as it comes. Also, I'll still be doing um, the, the Sippy's First Drink stuff. And as soon as you guys can come to some kind of consensus on uh, what it is that we're going to play or that I'm going to play for you, um, 
once that happens, I'll go ahead and start working on that as well. But, um, oh, and in other news, thank you guys so much. Uh, when I logged in today, it's Sunday when I'm recording this. When I logged in today, we have hit our 10th subscriber. So thank you guys so much for taking the time out and feeling like I'm something worthwhile on YouTube to watch. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate the fact that you guys are liking and sharing. Please keep doing that. Um, and for those of you who haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, love to have you here. Love to entertain you some more. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, just in general. Like it if you liked it. Share it if you love it. And until next time, I raise my glass to you. Later. Jam. Oh yay! I finally killed somebody! It only took me half the goddamn level to kill one dude! Shit! Here's something. Oh no! Not me! <laughs> this is not a rage game. This is not. Fuck. Words are hard.